just bought like a few cards for tomorrow or today, Tuesday, and see what they have to tell us. So. Central focus. The princess of discs. This is a person. An earth sign. Discs just mean earth sign. is um, strength, nine, nine of wands, protection or defense, and ace of cups. It was reversed, so maybe oversharing or spilling too much information, or just how someone else sees you. Um, the ace of cups is a new beginning. You can see it looks like something like a big bang or this is the midpoint between the sun and the moon. Sagittarius here, but it can be anything. Um, say like an overlap, some kind of overlap. I think of a playlist and like timeline going down and the overlap of videos, the way that, depending on the way that you read it, up or right, up or right, <laughs> um, up or down. Um, for me, my midpoint is Virgo. So, that's just an example, but It doesn't have to be like that. It can also be the nine of wands, you know, like um, expecting the unexpected and um, kind of watching your back, looking over your shoulder, feeling like you need to. Maybe you need to, so. The 10. We got this for the week. Um, I think. So this is something completely material. It's come into full manifestation. That is also Earth and something that is just like a perfect day. Everything coming to fruition. So we've been waiting for a while for things to come to fruition and finally they are. I feel like a news anchor my hair really like start crying right now. Um, anyways, um, let's see what else. I just fell asleep like 6 p.m. and woke up at midnight, so I'm a little bit like, my body, like time clock is a little bit off. <sighs> Time clock, something like that. This was pointing at it when it popped out. This is magician, this is the I am energy. And this is someone who's like doing the running man. <laughs> um, he's just kind of throwing caution to the wind. This is a Gemini, and here we have opposite. Sagittarius, and that is the opposite of Sagittarius, Gemini. Opposing signs. So, between the two, the full manifestation of something coming to fruition. Tuesday. This might uh, match up with the playlist. You'd have to see, go back and look. This is the three of discs, works, and a 
the Prince of Swords. On the bottom is the Knight of Discs. This is a person that looks like they have some sort of, beyond a shield, this shield looks like it has some sort of solar shield on top of it. So maybe extra protection coming through from the universe. Shuffle these and then read from the actual like definitions of these because they're kind of interesting and I forget how much the symbolism, um, how much symbolism there is in each card. So it is most important for us to read more into. Magician and the Ten. Twenty-two trumps. Okay, the Magician or Juggler, Mercury who is wisdom, will, and word, by whom the world is created, symbolizes the fluidic basic of, basis of all transmission of activity. Behind him and through him is the eighth Hunanim, which is a Hindu con, uh, conception. The Egyptian counterpart, Toth, is also always followed by the Sinocephalus ape, other definitions in here too. So let's stick to the um, it's the same thing. Um, okay. And Ten of Wands. Or the Ten of Discs, sorry. There's also a completion of something and um, Ten of Discs equal wealth, Makuth in the suit of Earth, Mercury and Virgo. And we did have the Knight of Discs on the bottom. Um, the discs have become coins and are arranged in the Tree of Life, the tenth disc being larger. It makes me think of perspective, even though in like architecture they'd make the top one smaller so it looks bigger, but you can still. Um, the image indicates the futility of material gain. Um, so again, it's also about like time and what time means to you and what wealth means to you and all these different things. So, the Knight of Discs, by the way, is the fiery part of Earth. Mountains, earthquakes, and gravitation, and the activity of Earth as a producer of life He's clothed, clothed as a warrior, and his helmet is crested with a stag. He is armed with, with a flail, carries an exceptionally solid disc, disc, and is mounted on a shire horse. There's the knight on the bottom, but anyways. So it's interesting. I think I found it interesting, too. So have a great Tuesday. Bye.